never happen. Don't you believe it? Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. So if you missed last week's video, you missed something really, really great. We finished Juliana's room. It came out fantastic. Definitely gotta check that out. But we have one more thing that we have to complete here, and that's Juliana's closet, because this needs a video all by itself. We need to complete this. She has 48 pairs of shoes, plus so many dresses to organize, and we need to get this done now. Let's get started. All right, guys, it was time for this to go. Greg and I wanted to do this closet makeover for a really long time, seeing that Juliana has a lot of pairs of shoes and a lot of clothes. So we're excited to get this out of the way and start from fresh. Stay tuned. I think you're just weak. What? <laughs> What'd she say? I said, I think you're just weak. What? Yes! Look at that bicep right there. What? You yeah, do right. that. You <laughs> even had trouble picking me up. Remember when you dropped me? <laughs> Never happened. Don't you believe it? Never believe it. <laughs> All right, we're good. Here. Daddy, you are not my rest. We got some serious. We have to turn this on its side. I think we have to do that. Yeah, so we got this thing. Do you need help from the strong person? Uh, we have this. We have to get a screwdriver from the top. Do you need help from your strong wife? Strong wife. That's holding the camera while I'm working. Who asked me to hold the camera? Whatever. Who asked me to hold the camera? You need to hold the camera. You know you. Whatever. We'll get this thing done. Guys, he asked me to hold the camera. <laughs> he wants to show off. He said, I got this, don't worry. And now he, he looks like he's struggling. <laughs> so now that I've got the cabinet removed, time to get this carpet up. Luckily, it comes out really easily. Still got to remove up the tack strips on the sides, but not bad, not bad at all. Oh my God. All right, this is gonna go, look at this here. This is the perfect example of when you do a job, strip it all the way down so you know it gets done right the first time. See what I'm going up after other people here that used to live here, and they put underlay it down halfway like into the closet. They skip the strip right here. So I'm gonna rip all this out, put my own underlayment on. That's not halfway, it's two thirds. Two thirds. <laughs> Got my mathematician in the back of the camera over there. He's trying to add me up. All right, <laughs> gotta get this up. Oh, look, I have no blade. <laughs> <sighs> in true Greg fashion, always forgetting something. Oh, it's extension cords or whatever it is. It's like, man. He forgets to plug things in. Look, no more blades. Cords. All right, let me go get some more. Okay. All right, finally got my razor blade here. Now it's time to make that cut. This part of the job was a little bit longer than expected. After I removed all the underlayment down to the subfloor, I had to deal with a lot of staples and nails. So I smacked those down with a hammer and pulled them up as much as I can to prepare for my flooring. You can't rush prep work, right? I wanted to get this job done really quick. I decided to go with a quick drying compound for the walls, filling in all the cracks and scratches. While my compound was drying, I decided to start installing my underlayment. I laid it out and started cutting it at the seams. Once I got it removed, I cut my edges nice and tight to the wall. So what are you doing now, babe? All right, so... I had, to get all the I had all the repairs done, I sanded, and now I'm getting ready to apply the primer. Yes. Let's get some paint on the wall! <laughs> Alright guys, we're going to let this dry for a couple hours, and then we're going to apply the finished paint. And yes, while the paint is drying, I decided to start laying my laminate flooring. Cutting and scoring and laying in staggered pattern until I finish. What are you doing, baby? So now we're gonna open up the shelving unit that we bought from Ikea. Yeah. 
So guys, Greg and I were looking up different ideas or different concepts that we can do for Juliana's closet. Mm -hmm. Because she does have a lot of clothes and a lot, a lot of shoes, we're trying to see what's the best way to organize her closet. Obviously inexpensive way, um, but still that it looks beautiful. And we went back to that Kia Calyx, just like we did in our other video with the TV stand. This Ikea Calyx holds so much weight. It's really, really good. And it's inexpensive, so that's what we're gonna be using for this plastic makeover. It's gonna look amazing. Yeah. So, Are you tired? Yes, I am. Sorry. It's hot, guys. Yeah. It's a hot day. I mean, yeah. I'm not complaining. <laughs> I'm gonna be outside. You got 25 minutes with this, you can get outside. Oh, we are? This weather is right. Oh, it's <laughs> Guys, the IKEA Calyx was the easiest project ever. It's easy to work with. It did not take a long time. It took me about 20, 25 minutes tops to put this all together. Definitely a good buy. guys I finished building the Calyx unit and now we're on to building durable shelving so I wanted to go with something really really durable I know that she's gonna use it for a long time so I went with the melamine shelving uh, three-quarter by eight foot so and I had that cut into sections up to where I was going to install it inside the closet so other than that I get started here to make sure I don't have any flaking when I cut I'm gonna use the painters blue tape and what this is gonna do is gonna cut down on the flaking when I cut Always peel the tape off towards the cut. Here we go. I wanted my IKEA Calyx dead center of the closet. The problem is there are no studs to drill into. So I'm gonna use toggle bolts. I'm drilling holes to prepare for those now. Here's what they look like. One eighth of an inch by two. Let's get to work. Now here I am struggling trying to get this up by myself. I had to call on the wife to help me out and assist. I went out and purchased some new baseboarding to dress it up a little bit. And man, I'm really happy with the way it's coming out. It's looking really good. Before applying my top shelf, I decided to put on an adhesive silicone. I'm gonna let that dry for about eight hours before I put anything on it. I'm getting ready to install my brackets and rods on the left and right side. officially done so we just organized this closet and we want to show you the real deal we could have gone and, and took out a lot of stuff to make it look pretty but we really want to show you guys how much this has changed mm. her room or her closet organization so we have her clothes here dresses with no sleeves dresses with sleeves this is the best part for me it's her show is her shoes I'm sorry her shoes I actually found this on Pinterest someone had posted an idea of the shoes being in bins so i found these plastic bins really cheap at target and i put all her shoes in obviously by um sneakers and like bulk, bulkier sneakers 
and her Crocs and stuff and her church shoes and dressy shoes and her flats and sandals. And then we have her snow boots and stuff up there. We have um, winter stuff put up away in here. Um, so it's not a distraction and it's not down there. And some like long sleeve stuff and some sheets. So we have all this nicely organized. She will not need to ever come up here until it's winter time. I like that. And then <laughs> we have her pajamas, her leggings and just her personal items right there mm -hmm. so this has been a game changer guys for real for real yes. like i mean the closet system that we had before wasn't bad because it was like at the ikea stuff it was cute but this looks good yeah. and it's just functional oh man it's a lot easier to get to yeah so mm -hmm. this was affordable uh -huh. and very easy to do so if we can do it y'all can do it yeah that's it that's it We're good done. job hon Good job to you, baby. You're the one that made this possible, baby. Yeah. Let me shout out to my husband because if it wasn't for him, he we wouldn't have right. this. <laughs> <laughs>